What's going on YouTube? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to show you a video that's about a trick that's pretty well known about the FF7 speedrun community. As you can obviously see, we're on the Sector 7 train and we're about to perform Jesse's skill. <coughs> My apologies, can I have a sore throat? Now, I'd like to point out that I uh, haven't been able to, well, not that I haven't done it on my own, but I have ha was highly inspired by Caleb42, so shoutouts to him for showing me like the visual cue about how to doing it. So thanks a lot, pal. Now, you'll be able to perform this trick on any platform, whether it is PSX, uh, emulator, PC, you name it. Trick is gonna work. Of course, on the PC side, you're probably gonna have to remap some button to make it more easy but it's definitely doable so uh what you want to do as soon as you have control over cloud in this section you want to move him down until you can only you cannot see his foot foot anymore as you can see we can still be, see a bit of brown so we're a bit too low so you want to gently press down but be careful because this is a one this is a one shot trick. You can only try this once. So be mindful of that. Uh okay, I mm, oh boy. Okay. Now as you can see, we can no longer see Cloud's boots. So that means we're in a good position now. Now, the, the way I'm going to show it to you at the beginning, it's like a buffered version where you can it because we're going to have some buttons to press. There's three of them. We're going to have to press L1, down, and the confirm button as we exit the menu. Now, in my case, I'm using the A button since I'm on Xbox One controller, and I prefer using the A slash x button but in your case if you're playing on the original playstation hardware it's probably going to be the circle button which is totally fine this is uh, the exact same setup so yeah we're gonna have to press those three buttons as we're exiting the menu and if everything goes according to plan something like this will happen now as you can see we have two text boxes that are uh, overlapping. We have Jesse's and we have the one, this one from the guard. But I think that the most important aspect of this trick is the fact that the guards actually physically pushed us. So because of that, as you can obviously see, we still have freedom of movement with Cloud. Now, the second part of the trick is coming in and of course I mess it up because now I'm talking to Wedge yeah you want to be really careful about the movement all right let me let me let me do it again oh shit I this controller is a bit finicky oh come on Okay. So yeah, ideally you want to stay right there. Okay. Like I said, the second part of the trick, it's this text box right here. When Jesse said, like, I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know, flashy stuff. Now, if we were to press confirm after that, even though we have freedom of movement, we still would have the Jesse cutscene where she talks about uh, the central pillar and the reactor and all that crap. Now, to be able to get rid of that without uh, triggering this cutscene, we want to move Cloud all the way back to the back of the, the, the train to the next train. And as soon as we hit the transition so scene, we want to get rid of that text box. It should look something like this. 
I think that was too early. Nope. Was fine. And there you go. Yeah. Uh, if you remove that text box too early, you're still gonna get that cutscene as well. But and I thought I was too early, but apparently I was at the very edge. So there you go. Doing that skip will save you. For a pro runner, it will save around 14-15 seconds. But in my case, I'm probably gonna have to, gonna save less time, maybe nine or ten seconds. So, just to kind of prove my point, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk to Jesse regularly. This is why I have my timer right here. So to see how much time I can save, give or take. So here we go. In three, two, one, uh, go. Now, for the record, I'm currently using a turbo controller, but I am not using the turbo function. This is just me mashing the A button as fast as I can. It should be around 29-ish second. And... Uh, yeah, 28. Alright, so now that we, we kind of have our baseline, so let's try the skip this this time. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go like to the extreme, so to speak. I'm going to try to do like an unbuffered version of it. Those, it, this is pretty much the very same input. It's just that I'm not going to go to the menu to try this. So here we go. In three, two, one, go. Ah, okay. oh, man, it didn't work. Yeah, sometimes my controller is uh, really having some problems. I want to just press down, but it pressed down and left, which is something I don't want. All right, I'm going to try not to be an S and do it properly this time. All right, 19 seconds. So yeah, in my case, I saved like almost 10 seconds. And I think that the most difficult part is probably try to get Cloud into position. Because uh, like I said, you only have one shot at this. If the guard pushes you, he's, not, he's never going to be able to push you back. And even if it was possible, you probably lose more time trying to do it again, so... Yeah, so yeah, that was uh, that was just a skip in a nutshell. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, maybe I'm going to put out some more tutorial tips and tricks about doing FF7. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy and I'll see you later. Take care.